Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today is a philodendron Jose Bono propagation update. About nine months ago, I propagated my massive, stunning philodendron Jose Bono. She was originally growing in Lekka, and she just thrived over the summer. And to be honest, guys, she got a little bit too big uh, for my small apartment, so I chopped her up. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at you. Oh my gosh. I have to propagate this plant. And I'm really sad because I would love to watch it grow. She has grown so much. And like, it's really hard to showcase her. Oh, oh my God, I can't take it. Here's the top one, guys. So two leaves. Oh. Hint. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And then we have one, two, five, nine, ten, eleven, and then this little thing. Can you believe that, guys? And I never had experience growing the Philodendron Jose Bono in soil or pond. So all the propagations, although initially propagated in water, I kind of split them in half, having some of them in pond and having some of them in an aeroid mix. And yeah, like I said, nine months have passed. And yeah, I hope y'all are ready. This is going to be a shorter video where I just show you the plants um, if you missed the propagation video, I'll put the link here. Honestly, I don't even know how that plant got so big. But yeah, let's jump into it. So I'll show you the mother plant. So she's been in the same medium. I mentioned before that when I chopped or beheaded the plant, she pushed out new plants from three different nodes. And so although just one single stump, she pushed out three plants and she sits on the ground. Here she is. <laughs> So nine months later, she is a beast. Obviously, I can't go through every single plant here, but oh my gosh. So obviously, we love this. We love this plant for the pattern over here. I think it's quite random in my experience because leaves after that leaf will just push out solid green leaves. And yeah. I think I might propagate this one. I might just keep one plant in here and then chop up the other two. But yeah, let me know what you guys prefer. I kind of just want a single plant just so the plant doesn't need to divide, you know, food and nutrients and energy to three different parts of the plant. I just want a single plant to get big and beautiful like the last time. So yeah, again, let me know in the comment section below if I should propagate it or if I should just keep it this way. So let's start off with the ones in pond. So this was, I want to say, I guess one of the top cuttings. She still has the mother leaf, which is a giant. Oh my God, how do I show this leaf? <laughs> Should I put it on my head? It's on my head. Look at this leaf, guys. Okay, so this was the mother leaf. And yeah, she pushed out. I think because the leaf was big, she could make more food for the plant. So this was the first leaf that came out. Oh, I'm hitting every, oh, I'm hitting everything. And then she pushed out this leaf. So more freckling here. And then there is a new leaf coming out over here. So this one is on top of my shelving unit over behind y'all. And she just kind of relies on the south facing window. She's not under a grow light. And I, you know, from growing all these propagations, this plant doesn't need a lot of light. And yeah, so here is the second one. Like I said, she's in pond. This was a single node. You could see that the plant grew out from this node beside, well, opposite to the leaf. And yeah, I know she has a, a big root system because I constantly have to fill up the reservoir here. And I think I watered her two days ago. So I need to water her again, but yeah, this is, the second plant. Okay, and to put her back, this Jose Bono is known for hitting and knocking over a lot of plants. Obviously, I don't know exactly which ones, like I didn't track which plant is what, because obviously there were so many, but this is another one in pond. So Jose Bono number three, this is the newest leaf. Excuse me? Oh, 
I just saw it when I was taking out um, all of the Jose Bonos, but I said that this Jose Bono has my favorite like pattern. Like it's still speckly, but it's just more modeled speckle. I don't know if that makes sense. Look at that block variegation up here. If y'all are familiar, they will come out this bright white and then they will fade to a light green. The mother leaf has come and gone. You could see that she is a stump and then the growth point came out of the node over here. In a self-watering pot, um, she is under a grow light, but pretty far. Like it's probably this high above it. When the plants are younger, or if I'm propagating any of my plants, I like to keep them really close, but once they mature and they don't need it, then I just move them away. So yeah, Jose Bono number three. Jose Bono number four. So same self-watering pot in pond. The newest leaves are right over here more oh my god the pond is falling no more of a freckling um pattern here and there is a new leaf oh my gosh how cute you could kind of see the spots there and yeah like i said i like to keep them close to grow light you could see that this leaf has damage there because i think while it was unfurling i had it right under grow light and then after it was getting too big so i had to move her away and she has since done a lot better and yeah that's jose bono number four jose bono number five i actually brought to work i think i have a picture or maybe i'll take a video of it at work oh hey guys future kevin here so this is my office um kind of like a cubicle situation but anyhow so i just want to show as you can see there is a grow light up here it's the same led grow lights that i have in my room and i guess i'm here to show you the philodendron jose bono so look at her guys sorry the lighting is really bad because i didn't bring my ring light as you can see this is the newest leaf and she is the prettiest one it's funny, I, I know this sounds bad, but I brought this one specifically to work because I didn't see any variegation in the younger leaves. So that one is mostly green. This one is mostly green. And then all of a sudden we start to see the classic freckling and specifically with the newest leaf. And it's like a lot bigger than the last one. That is so cute. And root wise, you can see a little bit popping out the bottom. I basically use, this is just a diluted nutrient solution and I just water it when it needs to be watered. And as you can see, she's not right up against the grow light. She's down here, feature Kevin zoom in. She's right here. So I think that's why this plant's leaves are like a deeper green and yeah. Okay, number six, this one wasn't originally in pond. You could see, and I don't know if y'all remember, but I think it was a video where I showed my plants that were dying. Um, it was a Jose Bono that was in soil. And so I basically took a top cutting from it and I rooted it in pond. And you could see here, the roots are doing well. Look at that, guys. This leaf was already coming out when I chopped it. So every time you take a top cutting of a propagation of a plant, the propagation, if it's pushing on new leaf, might not make it. And I actually thought that it was going to rot, but thankfully it rooted okay. So it looks a bit wonk, but like we're okay with it. So this is the sixth one. So originally in soil, the, the bottom part of the plant I actually got rid of because it turns out the root system wasn't as good as I thought. So I guess technically that's a casualty. Okay, and the last Jose Bono that's in pond was another one that was originally in soil. The stump or the part of the cutting that I initially put in soil had rot. I don't think I have a picture, but I was just too scared that I, I took, you know, the cutting of the plant and I have her in pond. So I probably did this a week ago or two weeks ago. So no substantial roots. Obviously it's a good sign that the leaves still feel fine. They don't feel flimsy. Okay, the rest are in soil. Let's start off with one that was really slow to push out new growth. Number eight here. So she is in an aeroid mix. You could see that she has healthy roots over here. I know that was nine months ago, guys but this is the only leaf that this cutting has pushed out. 
The first leaf will always look awkward so you can see that it's a little thin and skinny. And I do think because I cut the mother leaf over here, the plant couldn't generate enough energy and food for, you know, the new growth. So I think that's why it stalled. I think I might've cut it because it, not, it, was, it kept knocking over a lot of my plants and it was one of the big ones. I just, for convenience, I just had to cut it off. But the good thing is that she is pushing out new leaf. Look at that guys. Oh my God, so cute. This one along with the other ones I'm gonna show you, it's an aeroid mix with coco coir, charcoal, bark, pumice, worm castings, and I used a 444 all-purpose fertilizer. I'm gonna say this here. I definitely would make this mix different. I think through this experience, I don't like the coco coir, coco coir I used. I used the brick that you hydrate. I don't know, appearance wise, and you'll see with the other ones, they, I mean, I don't think they look as good as the ones in Lekka or the ones in Pawn. So yeah, this is number eight. Number nine. So looking good, I mean, she's tall. The newest leaf is nice and shiny here. And she has one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. Can't really see the roots on this one. There's one healthy one right over there. Honestly, I might end up propagating the ones that are in soil. Like this one has enough to propagate and then I might just put it into pond, who knows. Okay, so Jose Bono propagation number nine. My neighbors upstairs are in their balcony and like every time I go that way, they can see me and I'm just holding plants and talking about them. <laughs> okay, number 10 looks very similar. So one, two, three, four, five leaves. This is the newest one here. So again, ugh, she kind of looks a bit yellow. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the grow light. Might propagate this again. Who knows? I don't know, guys. <laughs> I think what I'm getting at is I still don't prefer soil when it comes to my personal preference. I know a lot of people prefer having plants in soil or an aeroid mix. I still don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't like it. I just don't prefer it. Propagation number 10, 10, 9? I don't know. Okay, and there's two plants in this one. So 11 and 12. You could see that this one has healthy, healthy roots. And <laughs> it's funny because one of them just pushed out a new leaf. When she pushed out this new leaf, I actually chopped off the mother leaf over here because like the others, she was getting in the way. But wow, look at this, guys. The second one in here, like, do you see what I mean? Like, it's super dull. I mean, ultimately, this variegation was a bit lighter and now it's just fading because there's a new leaf coming in. And plant number 13, which was in soil, I actually gifted it to my mom. And I'll put a video, I think I took this video in March. I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are thinking, wow, Kevin, you gave your mom the least variegated one. But guys, there's a chance it wasn't going to survive. So I mean, <laughs> so I think the only two that I lost were in soil. So that big one from the plants that I'm dying video, that are dying video, I did save it, I did take a top cutting so I'm counting that as not a loss and then the other one that had a hole and then I put it into pawn so we don't know yet if that's a loss but guys this plant is so easy to propagate I am sure that if I put all these propagations in Lekka the plants would be bigger and especially growing my mother plant in Lekka they really take to that medium. Some opinions that I have. Um, I do prefer to grow this plant hydroponically, whether that's in Lekka, whether that's in Pond. I think this plant truly loves enough aeration around the root system and can take a lot more nutrients than the average plant. Obviously I'm biased, like I know that guys. <laughs> so looking back, the ones in soil, I would probably use a better mix. But yeah, like I've said, I'm not a fan of propagating or just having plants in soil. For the ones in pond, I don't think I would do anything different. Um, all of the ones in soil and pond lived under a grow light, um, except for the big one that's behind y'all. And I guess for the ones in pond, I kind of followed a pattern of 
just using plain water, maybe from time to time using rooting hormone with rapid start. Essentially just using two mils per gallon of water. But the moment it pushed out its first leaf, I started using a diluted nutrient solution, maybe a third diluted. And then as more leaves grew, I upped the nutrients a bit more. I don't really keep track. I'm just kind of watching what the plant is doing and then adjusting based on what I see. And yeah, y'all know the routine with the the Jose Bono and Lecca. I change my nutrient solution every two weeks. I do not flush the medium and yeah, not under a grow light. She's just on the floor, kind of behind some plants. So she's not getting the full light from my south facing window. But anyhow, I'm really excited that I didn't really have casualties with this propagation process. And like I said, if you haven't watched the initial chop, I would encourage you to watch it now. And yeah, I guess that's it. Do y'all have experience propagating the philodendron Jose Bono? Um, I'd like to hear your experiences if you have. Definitely one of the easier plants to propagate in my opinion, obviously in my experience. And is this plant still like, I don't hear people talking about this plant anymore. Um, I know that it's pricier these days, but is this still a plant on people's wish lists? Please let me know in the comment section below and any other questions that you have about this plant. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>